Hello everyone and welcome back to Mass Effect 3. In the last session we continued on with the Citadel DLC. We explored the new area here and we met up with some people in said new area. But apparently we're not done with that. I've been informed that uh, there are actually some people who just don't show up on the map. Uh, so we're going to go see if I can find them. Apparently they should be around the bar area like where Garrus was I think. So, uh, yeah, let's go. Did you notice the guy with the half and weird walk checking it out? Oh, you mean the human with the hot robot? Hot? A hot robot? Really? Are you serious? You're the one standing here drooling over some car. Got him. Well, at least his robot friend had tasted cars. Nice. Yeah, so I don't know why, I don't know why they do it so that <laughs> some of them just wouldn't show up, but uh, apparently, apparently that that's how they've done it. So let's have a look. Let's see if we can find them. So over here, right, and then upstairs. Let's have a look. Oh, that this definitely wasn't here before, right? Right. Wait for Joker. I was here when Cerberus attacked, and I don't remember seeing you. I think I caught a glimpse of Commander Shepard fighting over by the elevator bay, though. Well, yeah, Shepard was protecting the council, but I had my own problems to deal with. You see, I was down by the docking bay near CSEC headquarters. Are we getting a Joker flashback? <laughs> Commander Shepard is chasing the council. This is our chance. <laughs> oh shit, Cerberus. Ha ha ha, it's Joker. He can barely walk. How's he going to stop us? <laughs> okay, this didn't happen, right? This is just his imagination. Like this. <laughs> It's joking time. It's joking time. <laughs> oh, we were fools to underestimate Joker. Oh, no. <laughs> yes, you were. Oh, my. You okay? Okay, that was great. And that's pretty much how it happened. Which is why you should comp my drinks. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, come on. I barely believe what they're saying about Shepard. Can I back him up? You? I don't think so. Okay, trying not to be offended there. Look, if Shepard were here... He's telling the truth, uh, man. Yeah, Shepherd. that Hi. definitely happened. I'm Commander Shepard, and I'll vouch for my pilot. Jeff Moreau is a hero. Everyone in this room owes him their lives, myself included. I'm so sorry, Commander. I had no idea. Drinks are on me, Lieutenant. Ah. Uh, thanks, Commander. You're welcome. You can pay me back later. Cool. Okay. Glad I didn't miss that. What else is there? That's just a dance thing. Anything else? Maybe I have to. Maybe I have to go back to the uh, the apartment to activate it. Because I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be a few. Hmm. I just wish it would show up on the map, man. Uh, maybe it's like around here or something? I don't know. I was told to check out the bar more, but I don't know if there's, I don't know if they meant like this whole area or 
Because, like, this is kind of a bar as well, I guess. But nothing there. Uh... Okay, yeah, let's go back and forth again a bit. Good luck and good evening. See if we can get anything else to spawn. Boop. Run, run, run! Any more emails? No, she would have triggered by now, right? Okay, back we go. Boop. It's exactly the same as the others. Sprint, man, sprint. Is this about Patriarch? I don't know, maybe because he's not ruling now. That is a meaningless yeah. detail. Patriarch's story transcends time. <laughs> I mean, to Krogan's, sure. <laughs> Bomb, but oh my god, it is okay, so you do just have to keep going back and forth. Wait for Rex, hello. Buddy! Rex? What are you doing here? Uh, <laughs> escaping. Ever since we cured the genophage, it's been nothing but work. Council been riding you? Bah! Not those project shit slingers. No, it's the. It's the female shepherd. <laughs> now that they're fertile again. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I haven't slept in... I don't know how Oh, long. tough life, man. Can I get you two anything? Two more drinks. And another bag of ice. I would have thought you'd be enjoying the perks of Krogan fertility. Enjoying? There's a line of females outside my dwelling right now. It stretches on for as far as you can see. <laughs> they just sneak out my own bathroom window. Even then... I was cornered by two more females on the ride from Tuchonka. And it's just you? They're not spreading the love around? Sure, but everyone wants their firstborn in generations to be strong and fit. I'm the leader of Clan Erdna. I brought an end to the genophage. Everyone on Tuchonka wants a piece of me. And Bakara is no help at all. She encourages it. I'm telling you, Shepard. I'm in no shape to fight Reapers. Ah, it could be worse, man. Considering everything we've been through, I can think of worse positions to be in. Trust me, I've been in every position in the past few <laughs> days. Here are your drinks. And a bag of ice. I thought Morden's procedure was paid. Oh my god. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Shit, Shepard. We sure have been through it, haven't we? Still going through it. <laughs> True. Well, here's to us. And to going through it. I'll drink to that. Cormal! Cobal! It means victory or death, roughly. Ah, but you can't die, Rex. You've got a family now. A really big family. <laughs> ah, more ice! To be fair, can't really think of a better, a better Krogan dad option. <laughs> if there's gonna be a whole bunch of kids running around, it's pretty good that it's, uh, 
It's going to be Rex's kids. I imagine he would be better than most. Alright, so, back we go again. Big winner at the roulette table tonight. Boo, boo, boo. Oh, I should have just gone out through that door. I keep on going out through the bottom door for some reason. I'm pretty sure the top one's quicker. Maybe just marginally. Good luck and good but still, when you're running all the way back and forth, <laughs> marginal helps. I really don't get why they'd hide these. Like, there's, they're not less, like, detailed or less important than any of the other meetups which were all on the map. Like, it seems really strange to me that they'd, uh, that they'd, that they'd keep these ones secret. Especially Rex, like, one of the, one of the few characters to be in all the games. I mean, Joker was too, but obviously Rex was your squad mate in one and has been around. Had a major storyline in this game as well. So, you know, it seems very weird that they would not mark these on the map. He is. That has helped me, yes. You should have run when you had the chance. <laughs> okay, who's next? What should we do first? Oh, wait, no one this time? Hmm. Just looking for a wait point. No one? Hmm. Thought there were more. Big winner at the roulette table tonight. Gonna look around a bit. Oh. Please do not touch the waterfall. Wait, but this isn't a waterfall. The fountain is decorative. Do not touch. What? That's supposed to be over here. Weird. Anything? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Seriously, I have the credit to fund a joint venture here. God damn it, would you leave me alone? What? Am I distracting you? Yes, you are distracting me. So you admit it? What can I say? Sure, I admit I find a Krogan scent alluring and your brow plate is terribly handsome. Buy you a drink? Right. Smart ass. I didn't check down here, did I? Nothing? Hmm. All right. I was told there'd be three, and I've only had two, and now I feel like I'm missing one, but it should have spawned by now, right? Could I have missed it upstairs somehow? What about background here? Anything background here? No access. Beat it. Beat it. Beat it. Beat it. No beat it. Fair warning. What was that one that was this? I feel like this is maybe this is supposed to be a meetup point, but it's bugged out and be made it the waterfall instead. Wait, was that? Oh no, that was just... I keep getting fucking psyched out by these tables that have the thing. 
Okay, let me just check upstairs again. There's definitely not anything up here, is there? Unless it's like... No, it wouldn't be up high, would it? This is just dance. Okay, we'll go back and forth one more time. So who's this patriarch person you keep going on about? I guess I should check around a bit. I thought they were all in the bar, but maybe not. I don't know. I just really wish they weren't hidden on the map, man. Maybe we'll do the one-to-ones and then come back for a final, uh, a final look around and see if we can do any more then. Because I don't want to just waste time, like, just running around if there is nothing to find, but I was definitely told three. Wait, did I ever try that game? I don't know if I tried this one. Did I miss this one? Towers of Hanoi. I don't think so. Towers of Hanoi. Oh. I don't think so. Is that a reference? I'm pretty sure I skipped it, right? I think in Mass Effect 1, was it? There was a there was a thing which I could bypass with enough speech or something, and if you failed it, you had to do a Towers of Hanoi minigame. And I and I passed the check or something, but I think people didn't like that. From what the comments were saying. So I think that's a reference to that. Okay, right. Let's do the one-to-ones then. Boop. Any more emails? No. Any more invites that need to be sent? Wait. All of these people have been uninvited. I invited these... What? I invited these last time. Oh, I can invite all, right? Wait, no, what? What, what? sort of party are you hoping to have tonight, Commander? I could set things up for quiet conversation, or would you prefer a more energetic evening? Oh, thank God, not ready yet. I still need to get ready and rethink the guest list. Of course, Commander. Please let me know when you're ready to begin preparations for your guests. Fuck me. Did I click the wrong thing there? I thought I clicked invite all. I thought I clicked invite all, but it sent me to that. Okay, I'm definitely on invite all. Invite all, yes. Okay, so what? What sort of party are you hoping to have tonight, Commander? I could set things up for quiet conversation, or would you prefer a more energetic evening? I still need to of get Of course, ready. Commander. This is, this is weird. This is bugging out. Because I definitely did it at the end of last part, and I definitely saved. Whatever, we don't need to do that right now. Come over, Edie. What sort of party are you hoping to have tonight, huh? Commander? I could set things up for quiet conversation, or would you prefer a more energetic evening? I still need to get ready and rethink the game. Am I just fucked? Have I been have I been roundly fucked here? Ready to begin preparations for your guests. Any option that I click on anything now just starts the party? What? What? Invite up. Wait, and, and Edie's gone.
I thought these were one-on-ones. Was I mistaken? Like, like James is already invited. I can invite Tally like this. So like people like James and Tally are already on here. But then there's the invite up thing, which is separate. Which has invite them over. But that's not inviting to the party. That's inviting them over now. But if I click it. Wait, what? Okay, that time it worked. I'm so confused. Hey, loco. Nice place. Might not look so nice after throwing that party you were talking about. You wouldn't trash my new apartment, would you, James? Me? No. Never. <whistles> nice view. But this place, it's just so... not what I'm used to. Which is... I grew up on the beach on the Pacific, so, you know, water, sand, real air. You miss it? Yeah. And the people. Yeah, I get that. It's tough being away from home. Yeah. How do you make it work? I wouldn't know how to survive otherwise. I'm a soldier, but I'm still human. I hear that. So did you really come up here to talk about my personal life? Oh, shit. Right. I wanted to show you. N7! What do you think? It's great, man. Looks good. You've earned it. Now the real work begins, right? Exactly. And I heard what you said before. And I'm in. Cien por ciento. Glad to hear it. Anyway, that's it. Just wanted to show you that bad boy. I gotta get back to the Normandy. Esteban wants my help working on the shuttle. Thanks for coming by, James. This is gonna be a perfect place for a fiesta. Hasta la vista, Shepard. Hasta la vista. Catch you later, Shep. Okay, so that one worked. What the hell? No way. Wait, what? You've been holding out on me. Huh? Oh, man. <clears throat> this is sweet. <clears throat> Come on. Let me just use it for a bit. <clears throat> this is high quality stuff. <clears throat> I've, have I been fucked out of getting an ED scene? I feel like, cause it, I feel like I got fucked out of an ED scene. Maybe I could, you know, <laughs> come here for my workouts. <clears throat> what do you think? You gonna watch or you gonna join in? <laughs> I love this. <laughs> huh? You want some pointers? You know, my record is 182. You think you can beat it? Maybe. Oh, this should be good. <clears throat> Wait, am I actually gonna have to do this like 182 times? <clears throat> Got a ways to go, my friend. Surely not. Surely, surely not. Do you? Is this happening? I've got to start counting so that I know when to stop. Okay, we're probably going to have to fast forward this if it actually does go for 182. 
I must have done 10 by now, so I'll start from 10 and start counting. 11. 12. That's 20. Oh, that's 20. Okay. He's going to count for me. 21. Hundred and eighty. Hundred and eighty one. Hundred and eighty two. We did it. Hundred and eighty three, motherfucker. Holy hell, you did it. I, I don't know what to say. How you feeling? Uh, like my arms are about to fall the fuck off. Might need help pulling on my armor next time. No doubt. But you earned your name today, loco. Damn, you still got it. Don't let anybody tell you different. Don't worry. I won't. I cannot fucking believe it actually just let me do that. I cannot believe that's an actual thing. Oh my god, why? You get to do this all the time. <laughs> Just let me have some fun. <laughs> why? You get to do this all the time. <laughs> Just let me have some fun. <laughs> why is that a thing? Why did I just do that? <laughs> I wonder how many people do actually bother to do that. <laughs> Alright, Kolyat. We are gathered here to honor the life of Thane Krios. Thane touched each of our lives in different ways. The counselor knew him as a hero. 
The Normandy's crew knew him as a brother in arms, and others as a father devoted to his son. Though his life took him to very dark places, Thane cared for the better angels of our nature. Even when he was terminally ill, he ran through worn-torn streets to reach me because he knew I needed help. You all know the results of that day. An assassin, a professional criminal, gave his life for his galaxy. And now he can rest. Would anyone else like to speak? What I remember about Thane was his confidence. He told me once about how he remembered everything, even every mistake he made. If I did that, I'd be a nervous wreck. Thane kept it under control. Lad. It's strange, but the last word I'd label Thane with is assassin. And we covered each other in firefights. That makes him a partner. Thane's last stand was important. But let us also remember why Thane left the Normandy. To keep his son away from a life of crime. Deeds such as these do not go unnoticed by the universe. They echo in all who hear them. That is why I am here. Thane took himself seriously, a trait with which I did not always agree. I tried to make him laugh on several occasions. <laughs> But what I interpreted as a lack of humor was masking a great effort. Thane was turning his life around in a way few organics do. The day Thane came onto the Normandy, all Kelly and I knew about him was that he could probably kill us all with a ballpoint pen. But after you got to know him, there wasn't any reason to be afraid. He let you know where you stood. Kolyat, do you... Uh... You got this, man. When I was little, I thought my father had it all figured out. He said men must be loyal to their friends and dangerous to their enemies. But when he prevented me from, from hurting someone, he had changed. He said enemies and ego are not as important as loved ones. I didn't want to hear it. I was lost. I called him a hypocrite in a thousand different ways. Said that he was going soft. Now, I think maybe he did have it all figured out. That's all I can say. If anyone would like to continue, we'll be here. Looks like people are starting to clear out. Nicely done, man. Commander, thank you for holding this event. In time, it will be a good memory. I don't, like, it feels weird to choose the renegade option on this, but, like, I know what he means. Like, obviously it doesn't feel good. Like, yeah, you know, duh, but... The memory of having a group of friends saying goodbye to him in this way will eventually be a nice memory to have, so I'm going to go with I did what I could. He was one of us. Yes. He did not have many friends. The Normandy was... good for him. If you will excuse me, I should take this opportunity to speak with the Counselor. But what? He is feeling grateful, and I want to point out there are some Solarian biologists who need funding. If anyone would be able to create a breakthrough in the treatment of Keppel syndrome, it would be them. Absolutely do it, man. If you need someone to hold the counselor's feet to a fire, I'm there. There's a fire right there, too. <laughs> I appreciate the offer, but Counselor Valorn has recently orated about funding science during wartime. My odds are good. Oh, before I go... I was organizing my father's possessions, and I came upon copies of video messages he tried to send you. Oh? I sent them to your extranet address. I hope they help more than they hurt. Until we meet again, Commander. 
Until then. Are they all still here as well? No, they're not. Where was it? Was it in my bedroom? Ah, video messages. First message. Shepard, I suppose I should thank you for my freedom. Leaving the Normandy was the right decision. It was saddening to see our crew go their separate ways. But it is better than answering questions in an Alliance interrogation room. I hope this message finds you well. As for me, I have moved into an apartment on the Citadel not far from Kolyad. I think the first attack I had frightened him. I will spare you the details. It seemed very dramatic at the time. But in comparison to the Omega Relay, it was a child's game. In any case, good luck getting the Alliance to listen to you. Let's keep in touch. Let's, man. Wait, what am I saying? <laughs> I'm just like automatically responding like, yeah, let's keep in touch. Fuck's sake. <laughs> it's just like completely, like I'm just seeing Thane in front of me being like, oh, fucking missed seeing Thane. And just completely removing from my mind the fact he's fucking dead. God damn it. Shepard, if you sent a message back, I didn't get it. I suppose communications from someone of my reputation would be restricted. The irony is, I am a danger to no one these days. I am even paying taxes on my investments. I can't expect Kolyat to do so if I don't. He is doing better. He has no significant other, and he is temperamental. But he is employed and staying out of crime. I can tell he is serious about changing. It has cost him more than a few friends. Send something back if you can, Shepard. I can only learn so much from news reports about you. Man, this is sad that they were stopped from going through. I have tried a false identity to try to get this message through to you. We'll see if it works. I have good news and bad. The good news is that Kolyat and I took a few days to visit Earth. Light the shade of her eyes. Shrill sound of chirping stops. I scan the ground, see two tiny bodies locked by claws. Excuse me. As I was saying, we saw a beautiful sunset in New Mexico, and a scorpion eating a cricket. I wish you could have joined us. The bad news is, I had... I fainted and struck my head. Kolyat has convinced me to stay at Huerta Memorial on the Citadel. I will be there from now on. I still don't want to die in a hospital. But it's where the doctors are. And Kolyat. I love him. That means I must trust him. Goodbye, Shepard. Let me say that now, in case I cannot later. Oh. Here we go. That will almost certainly be the last time we ever see him. Doubt there'll be any more messages that randomly pop up, but I'm very glad that that was uh, that was a thing that we could that we could see. What a bro, man! What a bro. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna save now, uh, just in case anything else fucky happens with it. Cause like, obviously, we skipped the ED one, and like. I didn't want to revert all the way back to the start of the session to and have to go through it again just for it to potentially bug out again. So I'm just going to have to watch whatever Edie's one was on YouTube. But uh, if I save now, at least if any of the others bug out, I can just load that save. Uh, let's do the rest in the order. Miranda, then Tally, then Liara. Miranda, good to see you. How do you like the place? Not a part of town I'd normally associate you with, Shepard. 
What, the nice like part it. of town? <laughs> I'll fix me something while you're back there, would you? Sure, I've got just the thing. So what brings you back? I was hearing some confusing reports. Sounded like you had lost your mind. No doubt. My communications were hacked, among other things. I'm sure the news <laughs> had a field day. <laughs> it did. So, a clone? Right, yeah. Would she have had any knowledge of this? Yeah, saw it myself. Did you know anything about this? Just rumors. Nothing really caught my attention. But about this Brooks... Heard anything? Not as Brooks, but as Hope Lilium. Another lie, certainly. When the Collectors showed up, she put together the dossiers on your crew for the elusive man. Mm. Never paid her much mind. Interesting. My focus at the time was bringing you back. We needed the real Shepard, not some cheap knockoff. I mean, really. A clone? <laughs> it's the truth, man. Yes. Hard to imagine. I'm not sure the galaxy could survive two shepherds. Think of the property damage. <laughs> Think of the fun Liara could have. Oh, they shut down my favorite sushi place. Oh, is that my bad? Is that that That's one? That's a shame. <laughs> that is my bad. Shepherd, you didn't. I did. I did. Fell right through the fish tank. How did you manage that? It... Exploded. Hey, it was the clone's plan, not mine. Blowing up a fish tank shouldn't be part of anyone's plan. Yeah, very rude. Although executing marine life seems to be some sort of hobby with you. No wonder your clone couldn't resist. Hey, that joke it doesn't work. Step in taking over my whole life. We stopped it. That joke doesn't work. My fish have all been why fine. Why want your life? Why would anyone? All that running, jumping, gunfire. It's crazy. That joke would work. If I'd let any of my fish die in Mass Effect 2 or 3. But I never did. I try not to think about it. Probably for the best. <laughs> trust me. I know all this isn't normal. Speaking of trust, with all this clone business, how do I know you're the real Shepard? I don't know. You just do. Do I? That's the trouble with clones. You can never be sure. I mean, we can Come just on. tell her about a conversation we had. From almost nothing. Don't you recognize your own handiwork? It's not as if I carved my initials in the corner. The clone well, wouldn't have known about not. any conversations I'm we the had. Shepherd left. Like recently. Good point. I guess I'm stuck with you. I do have a crazy life, don't I? That you do, my friend. That you do. Aw, love Miranda. Okay, she hasn't stuck around, has she? Was it literally, like, no one else sticks around? <laughs> Just when they want you to do fucking 183 fucking pull-ups? Tully. Hey, got any plans for the evening? No. I'm as free as the dust in the solar wind. You remember that line? From Fleet and Flotilla? Shalai and Bellicus on the balcony? I don't think I've ever seen that. Did. What? You've never? How could you not have? Well, I know what we're doing tonight. But Shalai. I love that you love this. So you've watched this a lot, huh? Every time my friends and I had a sleepover. Kila. So many feelings. Yeah, it's, uh... Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> when this is done, I'll send you links to extranet sites with some captioned animations. I want you to see behind this mask. I want you to see... It's Tali imagining herself with Garrus! She had an infection for three weeks after filming this scene. Totally worth it. Wow, okay, that ended abruptly. 
That was a very abrupt ending. Nice one, though. I can't believe you could shit on it. Something that she's clearly, like, a big fan of. She really, it means something to her. Gives her nice memories of sleepovers and shit. And you, you had the option to just shit on it and be like, yeah, this is ridiculous. Feels bad. Uh, wait a sec. Did we have any new emails since then? No, okay. Last, but definitely not least. In fact, last but most, Liara. Playing the piano? Greetings, Commander. Shepard. Hey! I didn't know you could play. Actually, this is the only song I know. Oh yeah? What is it? Why is that? There was always something more important to do. A ruin to uncover, intel to gather. A commander to save. <laughs> you couldn't sit still long enough. <laughs> Could you? Is there something special about this song? <sighs> On one of my first digs, a storm swept in. We were trapped inside. I was so restless. I wanted to get back to work. One of the other archaeologists, Dr. Olena, had this keyboard. She took it everywhere. She taught me to play this song while we waited. <laughs> oh my god, not a musician then. Wait, is... Okay, maybe that's not... I thought he was insulting her playing ability, but it might just be saying, like, because she's only learned this one. So she's not big into it, but yeah. Nice song. It's a good song. Thank you, Shepard. I've always loved that song. Cheers, Glyph. Shepard, I... What are you doing? Making sure you don't run off to something more important. I can't imagine what that would be. <laughs> we should do this more often. Yes, well, maybe after. Every day after. Shepard. Aww. <laughs> Cliff's like, I'm gonna leave you to it. <laughs> Oh, that was sweet. Love that. Hey, man. Oh, now we can do this as a, as a normal thing. Oh, she's still here! This place is nice. Shall I transfer over your reports so that you might work here? Yes, thank you, Glyph. Oh, sick! Glyph, can you copy that song to my personal files on the Normandy? Certainly, Dr. Tassoni. Shepard. Liara? Shepard. Liara? <laughs> oh. The side effect of that is that I can no longer walk through this gap. That's great. Look at this wide-ass gap that I cannot walk through. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, so there we go. So... Yep, that is now greyed out again. So there's nothing left to do there. So now we will head back to the main bit to do one final sweep to check that we haven't missed any 